Well, from our four-legged friends to our winged friends, we're getting to find out more about birds this morning with Andrea Sch uh, Schnettler, who joins us. And, of course, we encourage you to give us a call on 0839133728 if you've got any questions to ask, like Brom, who's calling us from Strand. Good morning, Brom. Hello, good morning. I've got a question. Yes, please tell us what your question is. We've got a, um, a lot of uh, wagtails in our garden, but one of them is forever picking his feet and his toes as if there's something itching. He's biting on his legs all the time. Okay. Thank you very much for that call, Brom. Uh, Andrea, what do you have to say? Um, there are a couple of reasons that it could be. Um, mostly birds tend to worry at, at things that are that are annoying them or, or hurting them. Yeah. So um, it could be that he's, he's injured his foot um, and is trying to, to, to peck at it. Um, or if you can get close enough, there might be something wrapped around there, um, like a piece of thread or something. Mm -hmm. um, but it's best to, um, I don't know, yeah, just uh, try and see if you can see if there's anything. It might be an infection as well. Um, best thing to do if you are worried is contact your SBCA wildlife. Okay, yeah. so that's yeah. the best thing to do and then they'll come around and they'll have the experts who are there yeah. to then sort it out. Thank you, Brom, for that call and uh, we hope that that did help a little bit. Um, and of course, we want you to call us and ask us all your, your birdie questions <laughs> on 0839133728. Now, I'm very fascinated about birds of prey in South Africa, Andrea. What kinds are we likely to find in our home space? Um, a little bit of everything. Um, your vultures and eagles obviously um, aren't really going to perch in your garden unless you have a big farm, that kind of thing. Um, so you might see them flying overhead. Um, but uh, yeah, anything from, from, so there's your cape vulture, mm -hmm. um, which unfortunately is endangered. Um, it stands at about 115 centimeters tall. This is your Varose eagle, which is the largest eagle in the country, and that's just under a meter tall. Just oh, yeah. under a meter tall. We're talking about, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Like, that would be a fully grown Varose eagle. Pretty much. That is absolutely massive. So wingspan must be in the region of about? Two, two to three meters. Oh, maybe. my word. I think I'd run for my <laughs> life if I saw one <laughs> in, in nature. In fact, what should you do? Let's say you were walking up, because you were telling me earlier on that there were two uh, black eagles up on Table Mountain. So if you're walking up on a hike, and let's say you're on your own, and you encounter <laughs> a black eagle right in front of you, what do you do? Luckily, they tend to stay away from people um, and potential predators, um, even though they are huge. Um, so they, they usually stay out of your way. You'll usually just see them flying overhead. Yeah. If you do see one perched, it'll just it'll watch you. It'll be high up um, in the crags. If you come across a nest, they might get a bit aggressive. Um, just to protect their, their young. In so which case, step away stay from the away. nest, <laughs> very slowly, keep eye contact. Keep eye contact. I would, yeah, they're quite fast <laughs> and very, very sharp talents. <laughs> so, so if you happen to see uh, either one of those cape vultures or a verus eagle or one of these birds of prey mm -hmm. um, flying overhead around your garden, should you be worried about small pets, perhaps? Um, small pets, um, not necessarily with them, um, but yeah, I mean, small dogs and cats, birds of prey tend to stay away from, especially if they make a noise. Um, okay. Or if there's other prey in the area, they're really not interested. Um, but if you are worried, just keep your pets in at night, um, in the mornings and the evenings when mm -hmm. it's sort of like dusky, dusk and dawn kind of things. Um, they, yeah, and, and just that's pretty much all you can do. Um, don't use, or yeah, you can you can try and get rid of areas that rats and reptiles might like. Yes. Just to get rid of the prey source. Mm -hmm. um, but in that being said, please don't use things like rat ticks and that, um, other than being uh, dangerous to your own pets. Yes, um, yes. If if a, a rodent does happen to is poisoned by rat poison and a bird does tend, happen to eat it, they can get secondary poisoning and they will likely die. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. all right. Okay, thank you very much for that. And we'll continue our chat with Andrea in a short while. In the meantime, you can give us a call on 083-913-3728 as we take to the skies with our winged friends.